Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I am continuing on with the lipstick declutter. I am trying to get through these sooner than later because I feel like my lipstick is super disorganized, like crazy disorganized because I have them like all my reds are here, all my nudes are there, all my pinks are there, and then I don't really know what I have. You would think that would be more organized, but it's not because some of these are ones that have been hanging around for a while and they're just not amazing. And I'm committed to not keeping anything that I would want to reach for like time and time and time again. I have a complete declutter playlist for 2021. If you want to, to see it, I will leave it for you here as well as a description bar down below, but I need to delve into red lipsticks. Okay. If you don't know, red is my favorite color. And I have too many reds. I had to split it up into drugstore and everything else. Cause some of them I would say are more like mid price and then there are some luxury, but I just couldn't put all the red together or we'd be here for an hour. All right, so I have 24 drugstore red lipsticks right here. And I am going to go through and swatch. I was gonna swatch them based on, this is a matte, this is a cream. I'm just gonna grab and we're gonna go. My favorite, I heard someone told me in a comment that they don't make this anymore. This is the Lip Smackers Dr. Pepper. I love, and it still smells good and like Dr. Pepper. And I'm gonna keep this because it makes me happy. All right, from there, I have this little Tony Moly Bunny Gloss Bar. Ooh, there's not a lot left. Um, I never know what shades these are because it's in Korean, like all of the writing, it says it in English and then all of the rest of it is in Korean and I can't read it. So I don't know what color this is, but I think these are super cute. I just don't reach for them anymore. And this is a shade I think that one of my kids would really like. I do have another one put aside here for my kids. Cause like even the faces, they're like different and super cute. One's angry and one's like, hi. <laughs> so. My girls will love those. This is from Burt's Bees and this is their lip crayon. This is the shade, I think it's Red Niagara. Redwood Forest, I lied. I know that that Niagara shade is the name of a different one. That's really pretty. Oh, she's not good though. I've had these for a long time, so I'm gonna have to let that go. I have three lipsticks from Maybelline and these I believe are all mattes and they're all really, really surprisingly good. So this one here is the color Sensational Matte. This one is called Rich Ruby. I did an entire video earlier this year of like best red lipstick from the drugstore. I really liked this one. I don't think that one's going anywhere. I actually think all of these Maybelline ones are staying. I love the Ulta Matte Slim Lipsticks. This one here is the shade More Ruby. That's one swipe. Like, you can't really go wrong with these guys. They're just really good. They last beautifully. And I was thinking that matte lipstick formulas would dry my lips out. These two don't. This is the Superstay Ink Crayon. I have not been bold enough to try the, just the regular Superstay Ink, like the liquid one, but I like this one. This one is called Own Your Empire. And this is one that I picked up on a recommendation from Emily Noel. It is really pretty. It's a little bit more tomato-y. These guys tend to be a little bit deeper in tone. They have a little bit more depth to them. My favorite thing about these is guess what? They come with a sharpener. And as you can see, I have sharpened this in the past. So if you wanna use this as a liner and to fill in your lips, it's amazing. And then it doesn't budge once it sets. Really good. I have two lipsticks from Flower Beauty. These are their Petal Pout lipsticks. Both of these are mattes. This has been the one that I have used the most. This one's called Poppy Pout. Ooh, it's still good. I, um, let me swatch it next to the other one. This other one here is called Hibis Kiss. And this one I think is a little bit more corally. Trying to decide, I think I'm gonna get rid of Poppy Pout and I'm gonna keep, no, I'm not gonna keep either of them. I haven't reached for them in a long time. They're a really beautiful formula. I. I think they're really, oh, I don't know, what do I do? So I'm dithering, I, I don't know. I wanna keep both of them, but I know if I do that, I'm gonna keep way too many. Which one do I use the most? Poppy Pout. I'm gonna keep Poppy Pout and I'm gonna get rid of Hibiscus. This is from Essence. This is their long lasting lipstick. This one is in the shade number eight, Passionate. Okay, first of all, it was not long lasting. I didn't like the formula. This is one that I tried for my red lipsticks from the drugstore video. It's not expensive. 
If you don't mind reapplying and if you don't have problems with things leaving your lip line, maybe you're great with lip liner, uh, maybe you have a technique I don't know about, but this one kind of bled everywhere. I don't like this. Bye-bye. I got this one from Rimmel. Uh, this is their lasting finish in the shade 111. It's a really pretty like red tone. This is it right here. I feel like I am more likely to reach for, it's not a bad lipstick. It's definitely not a bad lipstick. It's kind of like a, out of all of them, it kind of fell in the middle for me. And I feel like if I'm gonna reach for a red from the drugstore, it's probably gonna be a Maybelline one and not this. So I can let that go. I have mixed feelings about this one. This is the suede lipstick from NYX. This is the shade Spicy. Okay, first of all, I think that this is a really good, like almost dupe for the Power, are they the Power Matte? Powder Kiss lipsticks from MAC. I have a Powder Kiss lipstick from MAC that I love. And I feel like this is a really great dupe of that. Um, do I need this shade? No. I don't even know if I would, I think I'm gonna let it go. <gasps> Shameless. I haven't even had it for a year yet. This is, and this is why I need to remind myself that I shouldn't just buy stuff and use it once or twice for a video and then get rid of it. Because although it's interesting and it can be helpful to you, so you know what's worth your money and what's not based on what type of lip products you like to wear, a lot of these I purchased in January and February and then I did a video and they really haven't been reached for since. This one is from Wet n Wild. It's kind of like their cream satin formula. And this is the shade Crimson Crime. I hate with my whole heart, that that's as far as you can turn it down. Wanna guess how many times I've gouged it putting the cap on? Countless, unhappy. All right, so, ooh, I'm running out of space. Let's swatch it at the top. I do like the, oh, look at that though. It's wobbling. It wobbles back and forth in the, man, that's frustrating. I think it's a really pretty formula. This is it swatched right here. I like that it's a glossy lipstick. I like that about it. I like that it's affordable. Interestingly enough, it hasn't broken at the bottom. It just wobbles in the case. Why is that? I hate lipsticks like this. See straight on how it like definitely is not centered. I'm not gonna, for that reason alone, it's just gonna be a mess. Eventually it's gonna break. It's gonna be a problem. I'm not gonna hang on to it. It's a $3 lipstick. If you can be more precious and careful with it, I do love that it's a kind of a sheerer. You don't have to put it on this heavy. You could definitely sheer it out. I like the way that it looks. I feel like this is a good red lipstick. If you like a sheer red and it doesn't have to be really heavy, but packaging and the fact that it's wobbling, goodbye. This is one of the e.l.f. Seriously Satin lipsticks. And this is, I don't know if it's officially a red. Uh, it looks red, but this is called chili. Ooh, it's definitely more of a hot red, like an orangey red. Ooh, I like that. You're still good. I think I'm gonna hang on to you. No, I haven't used it. Ugh, I've gotten rid of almost all of my e.l.f. lipsticks. Now the Seriously Satin lipstick formula is beautiful. It's really nice. I just am not gonna keep stuff that it's not like my instant go-to for a red. That is not, it is a beautiful color though. If you don't wanna spend a lot and you wanna dip your toe in kind of like a warm tomato-y red, cause she's really pretty, I think that would be the way to go. A less expensive, good formula lipstick. It's just not the best I have in my collection. I really wanted to love this lipstick from LA Girl. First of all, it's affordable. Um, I feel like they have a, you know, decent number of shades in the range. And this is the matte, flat velvet lipstick. I like that you can see what the color is here, but this is what it looks like. And this lipstick tends to be a little bit more raspberry or watermelon leaning in its color. It has more of that pink undertone. It didn't stay where I put it. It kind of went everywhere. It made a mess. I could not trust this lipstick. And if you're gonna be this pigmented and bold, you need to be trustworthy. And if you were not trustworthy, Oh no, 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 we can't. I have a couple of lipsticks from L'Oreal. This one right here is their matte lip crayon. Oh, I wanted to love this so bad. I remember when this was new, I got it, I think like a year or two ago. Um, I think this one's called Little Chili. It's right here. It dries my lips out. They become flaky, they become a mess, a mess. Now, someone told me that this formula works well for them if they put a balm down and then blot the balm and then it's over the top. 
but I tried that and it ended up kind of maybe I didn't blot enough of the balm off it just started going everywhere um, but this is supposed to be a matte long wear lipstick and I didn't like it I prefer the ones from Maybelline like the slim Ulta matte lipstick even also that Superstay ink crayon this one is more expensive than both of those and I don't think it's worth the price and the formulation's not amazing. I did pick up a traditional matte lipstick from L'Oreal. This one is in the shade Mattly in Love and I actually really liked it. And I think the reason I liked it is because it's like this orangey red. I don't like when all of my lipsticks are the same tone of red. I like shade variations. I think I'm gonna hang on to this. That one's fun. This one from CoverGirl really impressed me with its long wear stay. This is the 24 hour matte lipstick and I have the shade The Real Thing. All right, Ugh. I like that it has slim line packaging. It's not gonna have the problem the e.l.f. lipstick did. And this one glides. It feels like a gel formula. It locks down and it does not move. Under a mask, you can wear this safely. It's actually really beautiful. Um, I wish it wasn't quite as burgundy leaning and had a little bit more brightness to it, but it's a really good formula. I'm gonna hang on to this. We're running out of space. Should we just swatch on the other hand? Let's just swatch on the other hand. This is one from Revlon. This is the Super Lustrous Matte Lipstick. Um, this is in the shade Crushed Rubies. I thought this one was really pretty, but I liked this. I felt like it lasted for a decent amount of time. It didn't end up going crazy places. And I do feel like there, oh man, this is so similar to some of the other ones I have. I don't think I need this. That's one that I picked up for that red lipstick video that came out in late winter, early spring. Don't buy a whole bunch of shades just to try them out. Try them one at a time return what you don't need. This is one that I fell in love with. This is the Colorstay Ultimate Suede Lipstick from Revlon. Now, what I like about this is that it feels kind of like those blotted lipsticks from ColourPop, but it's lightweight. So it, it has kind of like, a, it's not a real glowy, you can build it up if you want. So that is several passes. It's nourishing on the lips. It's comfortable. It's not too much color. I really like this. By the way, this is the shade Finale. I like that it is kind of like a warmer red, a sheer red, and it looks kind of shiny here, but when it finally does, you put it on a couple of passes and you give it about 10 minutes, it kind of dries down and it doesn't end up looking as glossy as this. And it has, it's not like indelible. It will move like some of the ones from Maybelline, like that Superstay ink, she gonna be there for a minute. This one is not that same long wearing, but it's not like a cream lipstick. It's kind of like between a cream and a super matte, but I love this. I think this is a gorgeous formula and I love this one I'm so sad about. I love this formula so much. This is the lip cushion, the Revlon Kish Cushion Lip Tint. Okay, I wore the berry tones in this formula and the nude one a lot and I didn't wear this one as much. And I can't wear it anymore because now it's gone bad. <laughs> and that is so, so, so sad. This is the shade Crimson Feels. I wish they still made this formula. I think it's a really beautiful formula. It's super easy to apply. I would keep it if it was still good, but she's not good anymore. Don't get too many lipsticks. They tend to go bad. I liked this one from Milani. This is the Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayon. Oh, this glides, it's beautiful. This tends to be more of like a raspberry shade. This one's called Good Side. So it, it, it goes on creamy, it lasts really well. And it doesn't have like a sharpener on it, but I have used the sharpener from this for this. So if you happen to have one of those chunkier sharpeners, you could definitely give something like this a sharpen because it does give you more precision. Sometimes I don't mind like a blunted tip like this, but I tend to really like as much precision as I can get. So I'll line my lips after it's been sharpened and then I'll start to fill it in and it'll blunt down a little bit. But this ludicrous lip crayon, beautiful. So this is the Milani Matte Bold Color Statement Matte Lipstick. This is the shade 16 I Am Fierce. I think it's a really pretty shade. I think it, um, it looks really pretty, but in all of the red lipsticks I tried from the drugstore, this one was just kind of in the middle of the heap. 
and it's a reasonable price, but it's not one that I have to have in my collection. All right, the last two that I have are from ColourPop. Oh, I loved this one so much. This was from the Villains collection, and this one was Cruella, and I love this, but she's not good anymore. I loved this because it is kind of like the, that hot orange red. Oh, so good. I feel like the packaging is like super cute. I love it so much. And I wish that ColourPop products would last longer. Nope, I'm not gonna be putting that on my list, but I love this color. Thankfully, I have something that's similar to this and a couple of other formulations, so I don't need to hang on to this. This is the last one. This is the Ultra Blotted Lip. This is in the shade Swing Away. Oh, I love this. This came out, I think, with the California collection in 2019. I can tell the formulation has changed. This right here is Swing Away. I feel like it's dried out. It's a little streaky and chunky, and it's also bad. I just have committed to not buying any more ColourPop lipsticks. I like their formula of their Lux lipstick. Like this formula is beautiful. You just have to get one and use it. Maybe two and use it. I feel like their um, lip liner formula is really good, but you gotta get one or two and use them every day. They just don't last that long. And that just makes my heart sad because they do have some fun colors, some colors you can't find anywhere. I do like that they're constantly bringing out new things, but I feel like with all of that constant change, 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 maybe they don't put as much time and consideration into the formula, the longevity of the formula. Sometimes I'll find that things that come in tubes like this, glosses, um, liquid lipsticks, blotted lipsticks, they end up separating. And that doesn't happen to a lot of my other products, not after like a five to six month span. So I'm always just a little bit curious about what goes into the formulation of ColourPop. So I just have decided not to buy them anymore. Let me count up for you and tell you how many I'm keeping, how many I'm getting rid of. I am getting rid of these 15 right here and I am keeping these eight. I feel like that's a really good amount of drugstore red lippies to keep, ones that I know I love, that I wear, not just because I'm looking for a drugstore lipstick to go with my drugstore look, but ones that I actually reach for because they're just good. And I'm keeping this out of nostalgia. I wish that there were more of these, but I don't know, maybe I heard wrong. Maybe they're not discontinued. Let me know, because if I'm gonna find any, probably right now during holiday time, I'm gonna go right now to my local drugstore and see if there are any of these lip smackers in the Dr. Pepper, and I'm gonna get more. I love them so much. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I would love to know, obviously red is my favorite lipstick color, and the fact that I had 20 some odd just from the drugstore, that says a lot. I do have a whole nother box right here. Oh my full of like high end, they're spilling out everywhere. It's jam packed. I have a ton of lipsticks here that I need to do. I'm gonna do that next. Here's hoping my swatches come off. Let me know what your favorite lipstick shade is. It doesn't have to be red, it could be anything at all. Maybe you're not a lipstick person. Maybe, you know, your problem is you collect too many eyeshadows or too many eyeliners or too many blushes. Let me know what your Achilles heel is in the makeup department in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have an incredible day and I will see you again soon.